Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new revolver made by Rossi. I first saw it at SHOT Show. I was very much impressed with it. It's a 357 Magnum double action revolver and it hit me right in the heart because the very first revolver I ever purchased was a Rossi and this has some of the same traditional features but it is updated. So let's take a look at it. This is a Rossi RP63. The R, well, that stands for Rossi. P for pistol, six. Six chambers in there, so it's a six shot. And three with the three-inch barrel. That's what I think the name came from. I think it kind of has to be that way, but perhaps I'm wrong. But RP63, here it is. I saw it at shot. I loved the weight behind it. It's all stainless steel with a satin finish, three-inch barrel, solid underlug. The frame is all stainless. The cylinder is all stainless. And the one thing that I find traditional that you don't see too often these days is the firing pin on the hammer. Let me get this out of the way. The firing pin on the hammer and if for some reason it needs to be replaced you can see right there just screw it out and put a new one in it doesn't happen too often i'm sure it could or it does but there it is very nice looking and feeling revolver and rossi priced it well you know you, you look at some of the other models out there that have the same type of small frame three inch maybe four inch barrels they're, they're much more expensive than what Rossi is pricing this at MSRP. How dare you compare that to a Smith & Wesson. I'm not comparing it to a Smith & Wesson, but if you look at the price, it is a budget price. Check out that rubber grip. It has some bumps on there, some finger grooves. It works, and Rossi says that this, this frame size is very common with some other ones out there, so there should be replaceable grips. The one I saw at SHOT Show had G10 grips. Those had a very nice feel, but I really like on 357 revolvers, wood grips. So I'm going to be looking for those to put on this revolver. But I like the firing pin, and I also really like, look at the width of that trigger. When you put your finger on it, it just kind of melts within that trigger. Now, the double action is heavy, pretty standard. You know, with the Rugers and the Smiths, double action is heavy. What I find very interesting is the single action. Much like many single action revolvers, very short pull, but my trigger scale is measuring this at six pounds. It does not feel six pounds. That I assure you, that real short pull makes it feel like right around four pounds, but that's what my scale is measuring it at. It's a push button cylinder release. Already mentioned six shot, six chambers. We'll take a look at the ejecting rod, the crane, the bolt stop, the timing hand, firing pin, there's the forcing cone. It feels really nice, locks up nice and tight. It has a tunneled rear sight that is fixed, okay, they're, they're gearing this towards CCW. A lot of people will say, you know, give me a revolver all day long. I don't want to deal with magazines, I don't want to deal with jams. And that's, that's a strong argument that revolver people make and I find it valid. The front sight is ramped, it is serrated, I can feel those serrations right there, I don't know if you can see that, but this is also removable, so if you want to put a, a fiber optic front sight, perhaps a night sight, like the Taurus 856 Defender has, then you could do that with the RP63. I mentioned the trigger is very wide. It feels, it was like one of the first things I, I noticed, you know, when I put my finger on the trigger, I was like, wow. And if we look at the 856 Defender, we'll see that the trigger is much thinner than the RP63. And this has an aluminum frame. You can feel the weight difference. We're going to get it on the scale shortly but i mentioned the price that the rossi is pricing this to sell right in the working man's budget it's it's not six seven eight hundred dollars it's 461 dollars msrp and i did a quick search and i saw that it's currently selling for right around the msrp and that's common but once it gets some months behind it and it becomes more more of a common purchase or whatever we will see the price decrease and we saw that also with the a56 defender so that's what i'm expecting and rossi is a division of taurus and they're known for budget firearms across the board made in brazil it says right there taurus armas made in brazil 
All right, so it's it's a nice looking revolver. I love that satin stainless steel. Looks high class. I like the solid underlug to reduce the recoil. I like the fact that you can add additional features, if you will, or additional parts, or even holsters, or hopefully grips. I want wood grips to the RP63. I think they they really thought this one out when they decide to produce it and bring back the Rossi revolvers. The unloaded weight, one pound, 10 and seven eighths ounces. Here are six rounds of target loads, 357 Magnum, 158 grain, one pound, 14 and a quarter ounces. We move that to just ounces. We're looking at 30 and a quarter ounces. Now just for fun, let's put the 856 Defender on there. And you'll see that it's 20 and three quarters. I know what you're saying. Hey, you know, that's a 38 special. Well, you know, 158 grains, 38 special too, in most cases. So you're looking at a heavy, heavy duty, very well built. You know, when I when I felt this at shot, I said, that thing feels great. And I have it now and it feels great. Yeah, I think it's gonna perform very well. I like the three inch barrel. And I like that that single action trigger pull. If you don't like a, a revolver single action trigger pull, then you need to just relax a little bit and, and think about your choices because that is so such a nice trigger pull. And I like the width of the trigger. And I already mentioned some of the other things that I think are super cool. So Rossi is back in the game with revolvers, and they they have the eight fit or. Taurus has the eight fifty six. They have the RP sixty three, but they're also making this with a six inch barrel and that will certainly be cool too more toward target or competition this is geared towards ccw so if you're into revolvers and you don't want to pay a fortune for a revolver and you want one that has the features i mentioned take a look at the rp63 so far i'm i'm pretty impressed but range review is forthcoming and i'm certainly looking forward to that if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.